Hello everyone, I'm Chef Almir Fonseca, I'm a chef instructor at the CIA, Culinary Institute of America at the Greystone campus in San Helena, California. And today I'm going to do a very simple side dish so we can be utilizing different vegetables. What I'm using today is this artichoke hearts and fennel. It's two of great, great, great vegetables that I completely enjoy. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use Wonder Flour over here, which is a great flour. It's not a lot of motion. That flour is great to fry. It just kind of handles, handles heat really well. I will season my flour gently. I'm going to have salt and I'm going to have pepper to the flour, okay? Just so I can have a little seasoning going over here because that's going to be what I'm going to finish my product into it, okay? Right here I have simply slice, you know, nice little slices of fennel and I'm going to soak just for a few minutes in buttermilk. And buttermilk gonna kind of tenderize the, the vegetable a little bit, gonna just kind of cut down a little bit of the texture. And we, we, we love buttermilk for several types of cookery. We make some kills of frescoes and paneers and things of that nature with buttermilk that we actually use milk and buttermilk and that would you know, activate the whey and the whey will become curd and you can make it so into beautiful cheeses which could be a fried composition as well. But this is a simple one, okay? So I'm not seasoning at all this vegetable, I'm just simply dipping on my buttermilk to add a little bit of a flavor. And then I'm going to take from here into my Wonder Flour, and then from that point on I'm going to be deep frying. What I'm deep frying this, this vegetables in is canola oil. It's, it's a trans fat free oil and um, against most of the, the misconception of, of uh, the population in the sense of deep fried foods, this is actually a healthier way to do a deep frying food. We're using trans fat free oil and we're using a dry cooking method, which means that there is none of that oil going to be penetrated into the food. It's on the outside and can be drained on a paper towel, in a towel, so it's going to be very, very quick. Once we fry this, I'm going to can take it out, nice and crispy and gold, and then we season with a gentle, you know, salt, and then can be a great side dish. Can be, you know, can make an unbelievable sandwich and have a crispy vegetables as a side dish. This could be onion rings, it would be fabulous as well, and on and on and so forth, okay? So, this is what I'm going to do. I have a clean bowl over here, okay? And I'm going to do simple breading. I'm going to keep one hand with a moist ingredients and I'm going to keep one hand for my dry ingredients. I'm going to realize uh, my gloves just so I can keep my hand clear of this buttermilk and this flour. Okay, here we go. I have all my composition over here. I'm ready to go. I have my platter over here with paper towel so I can drain my fried vegetables. I'm going to put it right over here. Remove this over here. And here we go. Again, every time you do any breading, if you're doing breaded shrimp or breaded scallops, breaded oysters, or anything that notion, kind of do the composition in, in the sense of keep your hands clean. One hand for the wet ingredients, one hand to the dry ingredients, that way you're not dripping a lot of that buttermilk into the frying oil. My frying oil is nice and hot, okay? So I'm ready to go. So, perfect. Right here. And I have my artichoke going into my flour. And now I'm going into my dried hand. And you notice that I'm shaking a little bit. So we have just a nice little coating. Not any very heavy breading or anything. It's just nice and gentle. But just going to be just perfect. Nice and crispy. And again, dry hand for the next part of the composition. Okay? Ready to put this aside. Move this. So I'm going to start to deep fry my artichoke. The oil temperature is absolute perfect. 
and they're going to be able to accomplish this task nicely. As you can see, I have beautiful golden, golden artichoke hearts. They're going to be coming out of the just perfect oil over here. Nice and golden and crisp. Outstanding. This is going to be great. Great side dish, great snack. This is a nice cold beverage. And again, this just came out of the, out of the oil. Why it's still warm, you season. That's what you would do if you're doing pommes frites or, or, or french fries and on and on and so forth. I'm going to continue with my fennel now. Again, wet hands for one job, dry hands for the next job. Perfect. I can put this aside, come with my dry hands and bread this gently. And then I will transfer to my second bowl just so I can extract some of the extra flour that I don't want because it will get my oil dirty and I don't want that. So, and here is my fennel, it's going very nicely. Put this aside. I got my spider over here so I can extract my vegetables out of the oil. And as you can see, it's getting nice and golden, and it's getting great color, and the fan is getting translucent with the heat on the inside, and you're going to have a great snack. And fan and fries get nice and sweet, and a lot of that, that natural sugars of the vegetable just kind of would intensify, and we're going to get a great flavor, and going to be, again, a, an amazing side for a sandwich, could be a great garniture for a nice crispy salad. And here we go, and I'm going to drain this on paper towel. And again, keep in mind the same thing I mentioned earlier, you know, just one coming out of the oil, I'm going to season while it's still nice and warm, and we're gonna be able to utilize that as a great side dish, okay? Here we go, we have a fried artichoke hearts and fennel deep fried in canola oil. Enjoy! <laughs> 